Hi, this is Karen from Miscellaneous Mum talking about books briefly on a vlog today about what I've been reading at the end of June, early July 2011. Um, I'm out here on my laptop webcam to give it a try today in the lounge dining room area. Um, also to partly show those of you who've been following with our renovation story this year that the last little bit um, of the improvements being our Roman blinds are now in. Uh, they took forever to be done so we were living with nothing over our windows for a good while there which um, made the house cold and also made things like walking around nude <laughs> precarious to say the least but now they're back on so everything's back to normal which is normal as they get around here so yeah they're, they're quite nice and we're happy with them but moving on before I get into trouble I will talk about what I've just finished. Um, first of that being Eva Hornung's Dog Boy book, which is quite extraordinary. Um, just a bit of background, it's about this boy who's abandoned in um, small boys abandoned in Russia by his family and so he's taken in by this family of wild dogs and how he his experiences of living with them uh, for the next few years and how towards the end of the book how then sort of man um, in society try to sort of rehabilitate him and reintegrate him back into society and how that goes and it's really wonderful the dogs are all written with such care and love and it's just that I felt such compassion for them and much more so than some of the humans in the story which is um, Eva's point I think just to sort of show just you know the man beast kind of distinction is you know, is what we make of it is, is, um, so and it was really wonderful like the ending just blew me away it was just fantastic so I recommend that to anybody second is um, Marion Halligan's Shooting the Fox which is a collection of short stories and because I write short stories and I love short stories um, and I advocate them to anybody uh, she's the writer I've heard a lot about um, this year um, and so I wanted to sort of try to try her try it out and um, the, the cover's just beautiful. It doesn't really do, do it justice here. It's just just lovely. I like a good book cover. Um, so they're all really well done and uh, I do um, um, sort of encourage people to read that. Now going down a YA um, path briefly, I've just finished Ursula Dusarsky's um the Golden Day, and then just started um, Kirsty Eager's Saltwater Vampires. Now, with Saltwater Vampires, um, you know, having vampires is um, a plus for me. Um, when the vampires are written, the good vampire story, that's fantastic. Now, I saw her and Ursula at the Reading Matters conference last month, and I was really impressed by both of them. But what um, sort of drew me in for this story is that Kirsty was saying she's a model for a lot of the setting on this um, on Crescent Head when she surfs there, um, has surfed there in the past, and that my ears pricked up immediately because, um, you know, Kirsty where I grew up is you know 20 minutes from Crescent Head, so that was very exciting. So I wanted to read it to sort of see if I can recognise any landmarks and just sort of you know have a bit of familiarity with it. Plus, also she weaves the Batavia shipwreck into the story, and because I I love that whole. Um, pretty ghastly story but it's a really fascinating one about the Batavia shipwreck um, that happened um, in Australian history so um, I thought you know throw that all those ingredients together would be a story that I would really dig so I'm looking forward to getting into that one more. Uh, I've also borrowed Mr Pip again because I love this book and um, I, I pimp it out to everybody <laughs> I'm constantly saying to people encouraging them to read it so I got it out again um, also I have here Philip Pullman's The Good Man Jesus and the Scoundrel Christ um, lately this year I've had several people come up to me going I'm reading Philip Pullman have you ever read Philip Pullman I think he's great and so I'm just having a conversation about that about particularly they've been reading the um, his dark materials the type materials um, series and I haven't read those although Adam has um, so I thought I'd be meaning to, but I've got this one first, and I'm already halfway through, and I know he's 
use and religion and, and my views on religion and so but I still haven't figured out yet um, what I think about the story and uh, hopefully by the end I'll be able to sort of say a bit more about that now and if that's not enough and if I get through all these then last I have we had it so good by Linda Grant um, which this is a brand new is I don't know a whole lot about it but I do know that she's a, um, a real well respected writer and has been man book prize shortlisted in the past herself so um, that should be good and otherwise I think that's about it at the moment um, let me know if you've read any of these or what you're reading at the moment and um, otherwise I'll uh, see you next time okay bye